Skins, congratulations. Um, obviously, you know, the game time's been limited for you this year, but, but how special is, is this moment to um, to start another All Blacks test? Yeah, I think um, with the time of me um, not playing, yet, you know, um, it becomes more special when I get named. So, yeah, obviously, I'm really excited to get out there and um, just try and um, play hard and um, make my family proud. Has it been difficult at times for you to, you know, continuously try and push for, for game time but, but not get it? Um, no, like, I, I just try and um, train the, to the best that I can and, like, if I'm, if I'm named, then I'm named, but if I'm not, then I've got another task of um, preparing the team, so it's just what, um, it's just the, what, what job I have at the time. Big shoes to fill, obviously, with, with, with Artie not being there. Do, do you take on a bit of extra responsibility given, you know, Artie's absence um, in that loose four trio? Um, yeah, obviously, with Artie not being here, it's pretty... Um, I know it's pretty you know, big, big shoes to fill, like you said. But um, I just got to do what I, what I do, sort of thing. Like, don't try to overcomplicate it and just be me. Hoskins, you mentioned your family there. Have you had a chance to tell them that you're starting yet? Um, yep. Told um, told dad and um, mum, and they, they were pretty excited, and they've been waiting for me to get an opportunity as well. So, yeah, pretty keen as well. Will they be able to make it over for the game at all? Um, no, nah, they're not going to make it over. They're just watching on TV, but. They're still, still happy. You talked to Ian a little bit about um, how you were kind of dealing with it, taking on the role and stuff, and he just said, oh, you know, he's quiet but ready. Do you think that's a fair assessment? Yeah, like, yeah, I've just been preparing myself to, I don't know, to be, to be ready for an opportunity to come. Like, I know that was going to be limited, so, I don't know, when, whenever it came, I just got to be ready. Brody, you're also starting your first test in a wee while. How excited are you? Yeah, that, that prospect. Yeah, it's, um, I'm excited any time, um, especially when starting and, and obviously a Blizzard Slope Cup match. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's been, uh, obviously, got a little taste of last week at Hamilton, um, coming off the bench, so I'm looking forward to getting back out there. Is it pretty seamless, you, you know, you and Sam getting back together, doing what you do? You've done it for so many tests. Yeah, I think so. I think, um, you know, obviously, Played a few now, but you know, with Jace and Joe and the new coaching group, there's been new things to learn as well, and they have different things, different way way of doing things. So that's been exciting as well, um, and they're working the boys hard. So yeah, I think I said in an interview after the game how hard the group's been working um, from what I've seen in the game this week. So we just need to turn it to performance on um, Thursday night. It is going back to back, you know, posting a couple of good performances, a couple of good wins in a row, is that kind of this next step for this thing, do you think? Yeah, definitely. I think um, <clears throat> yeah, we had touched on earlier in the week about lost one, one one, lost one, one one, and now it's time to start building before, towards performances each week and um, yeah, we need we need to start doing it now and obviously what greater challenge being here for Glead One um, before moving back to Auckland. Brody, you mentioned the Blues is low. Um, the Blues obviously held it for 19 years. Does it does it still mean as much now as it did when you first came into the team? Yeah, definitely. I think um, it means a, a lot to this group. Um, we've touched on it this week and, and looked at some different things around it. And I think you know when I first came into the team was you know, the, the players like Richie and Dan and Kevin Mialamu, all those guys that you know kind of installed how much it means to the team and, and showed us what it meant in the history and, and now I guess as a senior player it's, we're, we're passing that on to the newer guys so um, it's been an awesome week and it's, it's exciting. Are there any memories that stand out in battles with the Wallabies over the years for, for the Cup? Um, they've all been pretty special. Um, I still remember pretty clearly when we lost 215 over here before moving back to Auckland. Um, any of those ones at Eden Park. Um, the Sydney Test has always been good but um, yeah, I guess like you say, I've been lucky enough to come out on top um, every year, so we're looking to do that again this year. Well, is there any kind of mentality around the fear of losing it? Is that in any way motivated? Not really, to be honest with you. It's you know we've we've talked about for a long time in here that you know we we win it if we won it the years we have, but you have to go out and win it again. So you know that's no different this year. We've got. We obviously realise that it's been a long time for the Wallabies and that they will be desperate, but at the same time we need to go out and win it as well. Hoskins, you haven't played a test, I don't think, since last November to leave, was it? What do you lean back on? What do you 
what do you fall back on in terms of, you know, obviously being ready to play at the level you know you're going to need to on uh, Thursday night? You know, is it the Blues? Is it, you know? Um, yeah, I think obviously, um, yeah, obviously having that last game against Italy has been a, been a wee while and um, yeah, I think I just go fall back onto the my Blues performances and um, just like training in here with the with, with these boys. Uh, um, yeah, I think I've been um, preparing myself real well and um, I think I'm ready for for this game. You said you need to be yourself. Is that kind of attack mode? Is that kind of you know looking to express yourself? Is that is that you at your best? Yeah, I think um, yeah, just on a I'll definitely on attack. I think when I've got the ball in hand and obviously things just start to fall into place. But um, yeah, just yeah, like I said, just get involved and nice and early and stay involved. What have you learned from even just training with Artie, a guy that obviously is able to perform at such a high level every week? What, what have you taken from that? Yeah, just um, his um, preparation is um, quite um, on the second to none. He, like, um, for him being able to perform real consistently um, every week is something pretty, um, I find pretty uh, amazing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's something to, uh, for me to drive towards and, um, yeah, just it's pretty good. Do you see him as a kind of a player that you'd like to become? I mean, he obviously has the, the work rate and the consistency, but he's also got amazing ability to do special things on the field. Do you, is that a sort of player you'd like to become eventually? Yeah, I think um, he's sort of like the all-round all um, <coughs> all player. So, you know, he's aggressive on D and, and, it's, and on attack, and he can also just make things happen. So, yeah, I think um, yeah, there's just something to work, work towards in the future. Cool. Brody, in terms of um, Scott on the blind side, um, how's that changed the dynamic here, set piece, and in, in particular the ability to target the Wallabies line out maybe? Yeah, I mean, obviously he's a tall, a tall six, maybe a bit taller than uh, some of the other boys. But you know, nothing changes too much in terms of his role. I guess he just adds a bit more height, and uh, you know that another. Well, he he runs our D line out. He's got a very good brain um, around line outs, so he brings a lot of knowledge there. But um, you know, it's, he's just filling in the role that any of the other boys do as a six as well. So nothing has changed too much. Brody, the. the General feeling is, is that the Wallabies are bringing a style of game that's pretty similar to the to the All Blacks. Um, coach just sort of mentioned that before that get the might complement each other quite well for a, a good game of running rugby. Is that something you guys have talked about a bit? And, and what's the feeling about about them and the way they play? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm not too sure about the, the style. It's what people read in, read or see, but. Um, from uh, from that, from my point of view as a forwards, you know, obviously they play very similar rugby to the Brumbies, which is you know their set piece orientated around their maul and their scrum, um, which they've had great reward at times around. So that's obviously a real area for us to focus on. Um, like I said, they've got exciting backs and especially their outsides and their wingers. Um, and when they get the opportunity, especially to pick through the ruck and stuff like that, we've seen how dangerous they are. So I guess yeah, that you know. They get the platform up front from their full pack, it allows their, their backs to play. And Hoskins, you'll be marking Ooh, Rob Valentini. Uh, what do you think of? Yeah, he's um, yeah, big, strong ball carrier. So, yeah, I've, um, I've played against him a few times now. So, yeah, just I know you've got to try and um, match him, match him physically, and get stuck into him early. They've also brought Pete Samu in at seven. Does it sort of? Signal, I suppose, like they said, that they were pretty unhappy they were badly beaten at the breakdown by the Springboks. Do you think that, you know, I guess bringing that extra, extra sort of presence there, that it's an area that they're sort of going to really, I suppose, target? Um, yeah, I think um, Pete's quite an exciting list, list forward as well. So he's good, um, good around the breakdown, and he's a real, um, I know, really good attacker for them as well. So I think them having those three. Um, Ball carriers around the list is probably the, somewhere they're gonna try to go to. Justin, so I guess it's kind of it's kind of inevitable that you get comparisons with Artie in the situation that you're in. How do you go about trying to stamp your own mark on that position in this team? Um, yeah, I think um, well, with me, um, I just just try to do um, do things the way I do it, sort of thing. So um, just that training, if I see something a bit differently, I I sort of speak up and. All sort of stuff like that, but um, yeah, I guess I'm still I'm still young and I'm still trying to learn. So, um, Artie's the master at the moment. So, yeah, he's the he's the teacher.